Hello, my amazing students. Today, we're going to read a news article together so you can improve all areas of your English at the same time. Welcome back to J4S English. Of course, I'm Jennifer. Now, let's get started. First, I'll read the headline, Why the U.S. is Weighing Whether to Ban TikTok. Is this a question or a statement? We have why which is commonly used in questions, but it's Y plus subject and then the verb. So I know this is written as a statement. This article is going to discuss why the U.S. is weighing. This is why the U.S. is weighing. So this is a statement. I wrote the structure here for you and notice for WH, you can have who, what, when, where, why, and how is included in that list, even though it's not technically a WH. So that's the structure for statements. Why the U.S. is weighing. So it's weighing. This is another word for considering because you weigh the pros and cons. The pros are the advantages or the positives in a situation, a topic, and the cons are the negatives, the disadvantages. So before you quit your job or before you move abroad, you should weigh the pros and cons. We need to weigh the pros and cons. And then you can say the pros outweigh the cons to say there are more advantages or the cons outweigh the pros. So we shouldn't do it. I wrote everything down for you and don't worry about taking notes because I summarize everything in a free lesson PDF. You can find the link in the description. Now to ban TikTok, this means to not allow it, to forbid it. Let's continue with the article. Lawmakers in numerous countries have expressed concerns that TikTok, which is owned by the Chinese company ByteDance, may endanger sensitive user data. Let's review this part highlighted. Which verb tense is this? Lawmakers have expressed concerns that TikTok, it's the present perfect. And it's being used because it's a completed past action. They've already expressed these concerns. They expressed the concerns last week, for example, but there's a result in the present. And that result is, and now, so now they're considering whether to ban TikTok. They're weighing the pros and cons. And notice here, have expressed concerns. So in this case, express is our verb and concern is a noun. You could also say lawmakers are concerned that TikTok and then continue with the sentence and it would be grammatically correct. It's just an alternative way of saying it. But notice here, it's to be concerned. That's our expression. I'm concerned about my friend. Lawmakers are concerned that TikTok. So to be concerned, concerned is the adjective and the verb that you need to conjugate in this case, plural, because lawmakers, they, they are concerned. And this is in the present simple because they are concerned right now. So the focus is on right now. So either way is correct. I'm just showing you that in English, there's always multiple ways to communicate the same idea using different grammar, different verb tenses, different structures, which is owned by the Chinese company ByteDance may endanger sensitive user data. Notice we have our modal verb may, which means it's possible, but not 100% guaranteed. It may in danger, modal plus base verb. Don't forget that irregular structure with modals, modal plus base verb. And then in danger is when you put someone or something, in this case, the sensitive user data at risk. Are you enjoying this lesson? If you are, then I want to tell you about the Finally Fluent Academy. 
This is my premium training program where we study native English speakers from TV, the movies, YouTube, and the news so you can improve your listening skills of fast English, expand your vocabulary with natural expressions, and learn advanced grammar easily. Plus, you'll have me as your personal coach. You can look in the description for the link to learn more, or you can go to my website and click on Finally Fluent Academy. Now let's continue with our lesson. The U.S. House of Representatives overwhelmingly passed a bill. So they passed a bill. The bill was successful. People voted in favor for that bill because the pros outweighed the cons in their opinion, at least. And notice here, this adverb tells you how the bill was passed. So it conveys a lot of information because overwhelmingly means in a strong or complete way. So without reading any more, I know that way more people supported the bill compared to the people that didn't support the bill. You could say, I quit my job because the pros overwhelmingly outweighed the cons. So maybe there were 20 pros and one con. Now notice outweigh is a verb, to outweigh. So that's why it's in the ED because it's a completed past action. So they overwhelmingly passed a bill on March 13th that would give TikTok's Chinese owner, ByteDance, about six months so about means approximately around, it could be 5.5 months, 6.5, it's not precise. About six months to divest the U.S. assets of the short video app. So the short video app is TikTok, but you're probably wondering about this divest the assets. Divest in a business context means to sell, to no longer have ownership of. So basically, ByteDance has to separate itself from TikTok. And they're going to do that by selling their share, their ownership, their asset, because the U.S. does not want a Chinese-owned company, ByteDance, to operate TikTok. So ByteDance would likely have to sell their ownership to another company, a non-Chinese company. This is what the bill says. And if they don't do this, they would face a ban. So in this case, notice it's a ban. So it's the noun form. So a ban is the fact that it is prohibited. In the greatest threat to the app since the Trump administration. So I guess when Trump was president, he also wanted to ban TikTok or attempted to ban TikTok. So now the threat is back. So right now, TikTok needs to consider to weigh whether they should accept the ban in the U.S., or sell, divest their asset. And they have to weigh the pros and cons and make a decision. The bill passed 352 to 65 in a bipartisan vote. So this is a little con confusing because this number ends on a two, but this dash is verbalized as two. 352 to 65. This is when you announce the score. We won 722, two, two, seven to three, seven to zero. So it means we scored seven and the other team scored zero, seven to zero. The score is seven to zero. So two, but native speakers often just say to, to zero, seven to zero, 352 to 65. So the votes for the bill greatly outweighed the votes against the bill. So it was overwhelmingly, they overwhelmingly passed the bill. And it was a bipartisan vote, which means both political parties voted. But it faces a more uncertain path in the Senate. So the it, they're talking about the bill.
So the bill passed, but now it needs to go to the Senate. And in the Senate, they will also vote on this. So just because it passed in this vote, it doesn't mean that it is official yet. It needs to go to the Senate where there is a more uncertain path where some favor support a different approach to regulating foreign owned apps posing security threats. And an example of this, this foreign owned app posing security concerns is ByteDance, TikTok. So here, remember favor, you could say support. Let's continue. India banned, so notice here, this is our verb to ban, and then it's in the ED form. So that's how you can identify if there is a noun, a ban, because grammatically here we need an article in front of it. And then here it's a verb, it's conjugated, banned in the past. India banned the platform in mid 2020. So that would be mid 2020 so 2020 mid june july august that would be mid so this stands for the middle of mid 2020. we commonly use this with age she's in her mid 50s so that would be middle 50s 54 5 6 that would be mid 50s and we use this a lot for guessing if you don't know mm, i wonder how old she is I guess she's in her mid fifties. Otherwise you can say early fifties or late fifties. She's in her early fifties, mid fifties or late fifties. So India banned the platform in mid 2020, costing ByteDance one of its biggest markets. So my students in India, do you not have TikTok then? You don't have access to TikTok? Let us know in the comments or in your country, do you have access to TikTok? Is it banned? Is your government talking about banning it? Share that in the comments as well. As the government cracked down on 59 Chinese owned apps. So let's talk about this. To crack down on something, in this case, 59 Chinese owned apps. When you crack down on something, it's when someone of authority starts addressing illegal or bad behavior in a more severe way. So in every country, there are speed limits, how fast you can drive. Most people exceed those speed limits. So if the police starts cracking down on speed, it means they'll give everyone a ticket. Now, maybe schools are discussing this and saying, we need to crack down on AI generated homework because it's a new thing and technically it's not allowed to do this, but maybe before they didn't really address it, but now because of how commonplace it is, they need to crack down on it. And because this is in the past simple, we know that India already did this claiming that they were secretly, so in this case, they means the apps, and in this case, ByteDance, TikTok, they were secretly transmitting users' data to servers outside India. So that's the security concerns or the security threats about TikTok, ByteDance. Now notice here it says outside India. You could also say outside of India. So outside India, outside of India is any country other than India. Let's continue. Other countries and government bodies, including Britain, Australia, Canada, France, and New Zealand, and maybe your country, let us know in the comments, have banned the app from official devices. So here's another example. What verb tense is this? other countries and government bodies, so this is all summarized as they, they have banned the app from official devices. What verb tense? The present perfect and why? It's a completed past action. They already did this. Maybe they did it last month, last year, five years ago. It's in the past, but there's a result in the present. So now 
in these countries, you cannot use the app on an official device. My understanding is that an official device is if you work for the government and they give you a government device on that official device, TikTok is not allowed. That's my understanding of an official device, but it could be different in different countries. Let's continue. TikTok said that it submitted a 90 page proposal. So in this case, 90 is functioning as an adjective, 90 page. This tells you about the proposal. It's an adjective. So that's why you don't have an S on 90 for, or page for the plural. So this is an adjective. Otherwise you would say the report is 90 pages. And then you would put your S on pages. The report is 90, not days, <laughs> pages. So here you would put your S, but we submitted a 90 page proposal. So I guess I could say the proposal is 90 pages. So this is an adjective. And then here pages is a noun and that's why it has an S on it. TikTok said that it submitted a 90 page proposal in August, 2022, detailing how it planned to operate in the United States while addressing national security concerns. Detailing is a great choice. You could also use outlining, which sounds very professional as well. And notice here we have that WH because how is added to that list of WH, how, and then we have our subject and then our verb. So we know this isn't a question, it's a statement. Despite the administration's concerns, Biden made his debut on the app during the Super Bowl in January. Okay. So Biden, the current president of the U S appeared on TikTok. So there's a TikTok of the president of the United States, Joe Biden, doing something. Now, the Super Bowl, this is like the World Cup, but it's for American football and it happens every single year and it's a big deal. <laughs> it's extremely popular in the US. It is the most watched performance probably of the year in the US. So the fact that he made his debut, this just means he appeared for the first time. So his first ever TikTok reel appeared during the Super Bowl. He made his debut. But think about what this is saying. The government is currently trying to ban TikTok yet the president of that country is using TikTok, is on TikTok. Hmm. I guess they probably discussed this and they felt like the pros outweighed the cons. So they went ahead and created this TikTok video and he made his debut on TikTok. Now it says, despite the administration's concerns. So it sounds like the, the administration was concerned about Joe Biden doing this, making his debut on TikTok, but he did it anyway, because again, the pros outweighed the cons in his opinion. The short but lighthearted video, lighthearted means it wasn't serious. So he wasn't discussing the global economic crisis, or he wasn't discussing a war. He wasn't discussing anything serious. It was lighthearted. The opposite of serious, it sounds like it was meant to be fun or funny, lighthearted. And notice I said the video was supposed to be fun or funny because fun and funny are not the same, but students often confuse them or use them as if they were the same. Fun means entertaining. The party was fun. I enjoyed it. The party was funny. It made me laugh. So they're not the same. 
which saw Biden dodging questions from an off-screen inquisitor. An inquisitor is someone who asks you questions like a reporter or just someone asking you questions. And if that inquisitor was off screen, it means you couldn't see the person asking the questions on the TikTok. So on the TikTok that you're watching is just Joe Biden, but you can't see the inquisitor, the inquisitor, you just hear the voice, but you don't see the person. Now in this TikTok, Biden was dodging questions. Oh, this is a great one. Because when you dodge a question, you purposely avoid answering it. So maybe the inquisitor asked Biden, are you going to ban TikTok? But Biden dodged the question. He purposely avoided answering it. So he said, that's a good question. Let's talk about the Super Bowl. Isn't it a great game? So he tries to change the topic or he just doesn't answer it and he ignores it. So that would be to dodge a question. Politicians do this all the time and it's a great skill to have to be able to dodge questions. So let's review this again, the short but lighthearted video. So now I have this comma and then another comma. So I can ignore all of this information because it's just additional information. But grammatically, I can say the short but lighthearted video underscored his attempts to rebuild his support among young people voters. So if it underscored his attempts, it means it supported. It supported his attempts. It strengthened his attempts. Now notice it says here to rebuild his support among young voters. This is interesting because if he wants to rebuild his support, it means he previously had the support. Now he does not have the support and he wants to gain the support again. Because that's what re means, it means to do it again. So he already built it once, but then somehow he lost it, he lost that support. So he thinks that making his debut on TikTok, because TikTok is popular among young people, that it will help with his support. He wants to rebuild his support. Let's continue our last paragraph. The exact mechanism for banning an app on privately owned phones is unclear. So the exact mechanism, this means the exact method, the exact way, because you have a phone, it's your phone, it's private. How are they going to get TikTok off of your phone? How are they going to do that? So that's the exact mechanism for banning an app on privately owned phones is unclear. So even if they pass this bill where they say they ban TikTok on your phone, it's unclear how they are actually going to enforce that, crack down on that. And that's it. Now you know all about the new proposed ban and if they are going to weigh those pros and cons. So now what I'll do is I'll read the article from start to finish and this time you can focus on my pronunciation. Why the US is weighing whether to ban TikTok. Lawmakers in numerous countries have expressed concerns that TikTok, which is owned by the Chinese company ByteDance, may endanger sensitive user data. The U.S. House of Representatives overwhelmingly passed a bill on March 13th that would give TikTok's Chinese owner ByteDance about six months to divest the U.S. assets of the short video app or face a ban in the greatest threat to the app since the Trump administration. The bill passed 352 to 65 in a bipartisan vote but it faces a more uncertain path in the Senate, where some favor a different approach to regulating foreign-owned apps posing security concerns.
India banned the platform in mid-2020, costing ByteDance one of its biggest markets as the government cracked down on 59 Chinese-owned apps, claiming that they were secretly transmitting users' data to servers outside India. Other countries and government bodies, including Britain, Australia, Canada, France, and New Zealand, have banned the app from official devices. TikTok said that it submitted a 90-page proposal in August 2022 detailing how it planned to operate in the United States while addressing national security concerns. Despite the administration's concerns, Biden made his debut on the app during the Super Bowl in January. The short but lighthearted video, which saw Biden dodging questions from an off-screen inquisitor, underscored his attempts to rebuild his support among young voters. The exact mechanism for banning an app on privately owned phones is unclear. So did you like this lesson? Do you want me to create more lessons just like this? If you do, then put yes, 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 yes in the comments below. And of course, make sure you like this video, share it with your friends and subscribe so you're notified every time I post a new lesson. And you can get this free speaking guide where I share six tips on how to speak English fluently and confidently. You can click here to download it or look for the link in the description. And you can keep expanding your vocabulary with this lesson right now.